Putin is playing hunger games in the Black Sea. The world's most vulnerable consumers need Ukraine's grain to get moving again. The Kremlin, however, prefers to keep the world on edge. Today's take, Russia's hunger games. The world's most vulnerable consumers need Ukraine's grain to get moving again, to help cool food prices. Battle-ravaged Ukraine and its farmers need the missing revenue. The Kremlin, however, prefers to keep the world on edge, and that won't change soon. A deal on Friday to facilitate safe corridors for grain shipments was rightly welcomed. The next day, Russia struck the port of Odessa, sending wheat futures higher again. In theory, the accord still stands. Ukraine, which insists it wants shipments to start as soon as this week, has stockpiles to clear, and alternatives to Black Sea routes are far too slow. The current harvest looks healthy, too, given the circumstances. Ukraine condemned Saturday's attack, but officials argue it illustrates existing risks, not new ones. Moscow, for its part, says the strikes in Odessa hit a military target, so nothing changes. There's some optimism to be drawn from the fact that a deal was reached at all, suggesting pressure from nations friendly to Russia. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is currently in Africa, defending Russia from accusations of playing Hunger Games. And yet, the two sides are so far apart they had to sign mirror agreements. Putin thrives on sowing uncertainty. Whether it's gas supplies, grain shipments, or his war aims, opponents need to be kept guessing. Beyond the habitual game playing, big questions remain about the ability to find and ensure ships willing to sail in and out of Ukraine. While there's every reason to defend the fragile grain truce, the world needs to think about alternatives as heat waves, drought and strife keep food prices elevated. The United Nations, which helped broker the Ukraine deal, would do well to consider financial alternatives for farmers and importers, funding mechanisms like the Global Food Import Financing Facility could help. It won't empty Ukraine's silos, but might just leave fewer larders at Putin's mercy. European gas is trading much above crude oil. As constrained supplies from Russia force European natural gas prices back toward record highs, converting prices and oil equivalent shows the extraordinary cost for the region's economy. Today's top news. European energy ministers reached a political agreement to reduce their gas use by 15% through next winter as the prospect of a full cutoff from Russian supplies grows increasingly likely. European gas prices, meanwhile, kept climbing. The world's largest oil companies are poised for a record-breaking $50 billion profit in the second quarter. Exxon, Chevron, Shell, Total Energies, and BP are reaping the rewards not just of higher oil prices, but a super-tight natural gas market and record refining margins. Power demand in southern China, a key industrial heartland, reached a record high yesterday as a heat wave saw air conditioner demand strain the network. The region is expected to experience persistent heat over the next 10 days. Oil advanced for a second session, trading above $106 a barrel in London, as signs of a firm physical crude market offset concerns about an economic slowdown. Time spreads are indicating scarce supply, and Morgan Stanley said the market remains tight. Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated says the crisis engulfing China's property sector will help swing the iron ore market to a significant surplus over the second half of the year and push prices sharply lower. Best of the rest. An editorial in El Pais argues Spain and other southern European countries are justified in their skepticism of the European Commission's plans for a blanket reduction in gas consumption across the region. In a shocking example of the impact of hot weather on the farming industry, Reuters reports that cattle carcasses were shipped to a Kansas landfill, flattened by loader machines and mixed with trash. Alexandra Prokopenko writes for Carnegie on the reasons that pushed Russia to sign the Ukraine grain deal, including the potential benefits for political insiders and banks. And in a sign of the strain sanctions are starting to place on Russia's economy, Commercent newspaper reports delays to the modernization of thermal power plants due to problems with the supply of equipment.